just an overview of uh, what has been done to make a migration of a sample Oracle uh, schema from Oracle database to PostgreSQL. For this demo, what we have been using is an EC2 instance, which is having pre-installed Oracle database. And then we loaded a schema, which has been provided by the AWS itself. And it generates around, I believe, 30 GB of the data. And once it is provided as the data, we what we do is, okay, yeah, I, I believe it's 30 GB only. Lots of tables and uh, n number of objects. This is just to simulate the real production environment kind of setup. So this is our uh, AWS schema conversion tool. Let me reload it. So we just say load a schema. Okay, so we are able to find the DMS uh, sample. So what we will do is, we will not collect the statistics. We will just say convert a schema and we will convert it to Okay, so on the target side, I will show you and we will refresh it. And somewhere we created a blank schema. Let me check it out where it is gone. So we created a schema which is called as target DMS schema. So we refresh it over here. Or let me reload it. So we just say convert a schema. Yes. Or let us try to drop it in the target environment. We just drop this. Or we drop this. Let's drop everything which is there on the target side just to showcase it, how it is going to work. We are not going to perform the entire details, but this is just to show. We'll disconnect and establish the connection again. The password of Postgre, we put it somewhere over here. We 
this is the password which we are going to use or let us remove and add it again it's not picking up the entire so we'll just say add target target is this one and we put the password again Okay, we do, we see the refreshed information and now the first thing which we are going to do is I'm just going to take this one just say load schema load dependencies and Let's collect the statistics also, load a schema, and then I can load dependencies as well, just in case. Collect the statistics. This might take a bit of time. It's collecting the statistics, so let me pause it. It may take a few minutes, so I'm just going to pause it. Okay, we uh, generated the statistics, and the next thing which we are going to do for this schema is, what we do is we simply say uh, we created a mapping wherein we are just saying uh, from uppercase to change it to lowercase, you can create the report and see the details. We just wanted to convert the schema, and we wanted to these objects might already exist in the target database. Replace it, yes. It is going to create a schema with this name. Just say apply to the database. It may take a few minutes. So it's going to take a few minutes now to apply it. And this is going to create a schema which is called as DMS underscore sample. Once the schema is created, we are just going to migrate the data. To migrate the data, what we are going to do is we are Let's delete this, which we had created earlier. And now, since we have the endpoints available, we are just going to create the task. And we will see, we will just say this is the migration task only. This is the replication instance name. This is the source endpoint, which is the Oracle source database. And this is the target. And we can say just migrate existing data. We don't want to drop tables on the target. If you just want to truncate it, truncate it. 
validation with data migration if you just wanted to do it uh, this takes uh, additional time five tables at a time selection rule choose a schema enter a schema a schema is is this one which is called as dms underscore sample so if you don't give the schema name so we'll just say this schema underscore sample uh, all the tables include transformation rule we're just saying choose a target target is a schema source schema enter a schema schema is dms underscore sample dms underscore sample sample and we just wanted to do only one thing which we wanted to change the case just in case it is our case let's make it the work case we don't want to do the pre-migration assess assessment so once it is created let's uh, initiate the load so in the initial phase it is just going to make the settings available This is time consuming step. The idea to share this is uh, we have a lot of inquiries which are coming and wherein people are asking for the help on the migration. So it is, uh, we have already almost uh, about to release the course just in case you wanted to do it. It will not be available for self learning. It is available for uh, assisted learning. So that will be a a bit uh, expensive as compared to the other self-learning courses which are available so just in case you wanted to have access on this you can write me over contact at um, emailtiskills.com uh, or you can just uh, ping me on the whatsapp number and uh, based on requirement we do it so most of the i think there are um, five to six cases of uh, Oracle to PostgreSQL migration, they are already uh, being uh, set up in this course. And the course name is, uh, okay, we have the table of statistics. You can see these are the tables. Let me show you the course. This is the course which we have. We have the course for uh, database migration from Oracle to PostgreSQL. And there are several other things which are coming into the uh, picture so it it's up to you like if you wanted to have it earlier because i cannot respond to everybody on email so self-learning is immediately not available that's going to take time so assisted learning is uh, available so you just need to be in contact so i will be posting it immediately on the youtube and the linkedin so those who are looking for the assisted training on migrations from oracle to postgresql so that's immediately available so let's see the status. You can see it is available. Validation pending. This is something which is going to take some time. So we are not going to wait for this. This is in progress, but this is how it is identified. We have the, we haven't initiated the uh, CDC, which is uh, continuous, uh, movement of the changes from the source to the target environment. So that's the another way of uh, loading it. So any changes which is happening in the source environment that will be replicated to the target environment in almost the real time once the uh, full load is done. So that is continuous data change. So you can see we have the tables which are completed the only thing which it, it might take time is the data validation so you can see vending validation for the bigger tables for the smaller tables it is validated pending validation that means it is going to take a bit of time in case you wanted to validate again you can just select the table let's say this is this table wherein we just have there are no rows 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, there are 5,157. So once you see, okay, validate again, it is going to validate again. So validation part is also, so you can see that uh, validation pending over here, validation pending zero, that's been, this is done. Now it is a still validation pending. This is how this is going to work. And this has been of great help uh, when you try to do it in the real environment. You just have to perform a few migrations onto the sample databases and you will be having good hands on. I'll try to push some more and uh, we'll see. This is just not limited to the Oracle itself, but other heterogeneous databases also, we are just going to move to the PostgreSQL RDS instance only. I'm just going to finish it over here.